How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be going over a practice question discussing vasopressin. So pause the video and try it on your own. So let's go over what vasopressin actually is. So vasopressin, and sometimes MCAT is going to do this where they don't use a more common term, is the same thing as anti-diuretic hormone or ADH. And we should definitely know where ADH is going to be released from. It's going to be released from the hypothalamus and then travels down the infundibulum which connects the posterior pituitary where antidiuretic hormone will actually be released into the circulation. So it's one of the two hormones in the posterior pituitary of course being oxytocin and ADH. Now vasopressin has two major functions and it corresponds to two different receptors. So we have V1 and V2. So V2 is all about the kidney, and what it's going to do, specifically in the collecting duct, is it will mobilize aquaporins. Now aquaporins, as the name would suggest, allow the flow of water through them. So aqua meaning water, and it allows for us to reabsorb, which means going from the tubule into the blood, free water, which dilutes our blood and concentrates our urine. Now the V1 receptors on the other hand are going to be found on arterioles and these help vasoconstrict. So ADH also has the potential to vasoconstrict the vessels. Now this question is asking which of the following structures is most directly affected by vasopressin to help regulate osmolarity. Now osmolarity, while yes it does Vasopressin does act on the precapillary arterioles. Does that have as much to do with osmolarity? More the blood pressure. So we're left with all these different components of the nephron, and we should recognize a collecting duct as a primary set of action for antidiuretic hormone. Just going through the other wrong answers, proximal convoluted tubule of the nephron, that's going to be a little bit more associated with where we have a lot of sodium reabsorption in the nephron. Loop of Henle, that's where we're going to find our countercurrent multiplier and our mechanism for actually creating a gradient to concentrate our urine eventually later in the collecting duct. And that ascending tubule of the nephron, that's going to be part of our loop of Henle, of course. And that's going to help us create that gradient in the interstitium. And we could ask this question another way as well. So it's a fairly similar question, but this time it says which of the following structures is most directly affected by vasopressin to regulate blood pressure, but blood pressure specifically. And so this is going to be then our precapillary arterioles. And so even though the collecting duct of the nephron is a site for action of vasopressin, it is not going to have as much to do with blood pressure. That's going to be the V1 receptor. That's all about blood pressure, whereas the V2 receptor is going to be found in the kidney.